research says the oceans are warming some 40% faster than previously estimated. The analysis, the analysis was published in the journal Science. And to discuss this, I'm joined by Dennis Loktier, who is the presenter of a new documentary series, Oceans, which begins on Euronews tonight. Well, good morning to you, Dennis. Um, what can you tell us more? What can you tell us about this report? Yes, it's a report published yesterday in Science by a Chinese and several American researchers that confirms that the oceans are warming faster than expected, than estimated five years ago. What that means is we will see the expected results of global climate change sooner and uh, uh, among many bad things that will be happening pretty fast is uh, the death of coral reefs. Coral reefs are dying already quite fast and that's the biodiversity hotspot so plenty of fish live there and hundreds of millions of people depend on that for their proteins. Uh, sea levels will be rising faster, that's very bad news for coastal communities. Uh, that need to prepare now much much faster than, than before to flooding and hurricanes that uh, just like the hurricanes which have been striking the United States uh, last year will be rainier and more destructive uh, so it's uh, overall a uh, very alarming situation not just for the oceans but also for the land because oceans act as a big heat sink for the planet yeah, so the damage is accelerating. Well, you're um, going to be presenting your new series, Oceans, this evening. Uh, can you give us a bit of a glimpse uh, about what this is going to be about? Yes, that's right. The news like that uh, remind us that we need to talk mm. about oceans more, uh, more often, pay more attention to what is happening there. So Ocean is a new monthly series we are launching with the European Commission. It will be on air and online tonight at 8.55 uh, Central European time and all through the coming week and we're going to, we are going to talk about problems of course like uh, the climate change and the plastic pollution we'll also talk about the opportunities that the ocean is opening to the clean energy that can be generated there tourism uh, aquaculture plenty of stories to cover in this uh, this year and we'll focus on success stories like the episode that goes in there tonight. Uh, do we talk enough about the recovery of fish stocks in Northern Europe? It's possible that, that we didn't hear about that, but 10 years ago we were very concerned about fish quickly dying out because of all the overfishing. Now the same uh, fishermen that we saw just a few minutes ago in Brian's report are catching twice as much fish uh, than 10 years ago. Why? Because the fish stocks are recovering. Seven out of 10 fish subpopulations now are in full recovery. They can be fished sustainably. So that's why are they recovering, Dennis? And that's because these fishermen have changed how they work, how they select what fish to catch. Uh, and uh, it's just one of many stories we would like to talk, talk about in this new series, Ocean, on air tonight. Well,